Five candidates, five views on Europe. For the first time, the European Union's foremost political groups each propose a candidate to lead the Executive Commission. This new democratic policy is aimed at encouraging Europeans to vote in the Parliament elections because the Commission head, in principle, will come from the group that does best in the polls. Belgian former Prime Minister Guy Verhofstadt, 61, represents the group of the Liberals and Democrats. He proposes a federalized, more integrated Europe. If you want to solve problems like climate change, like unemployment, like uh, bad financial products coming from the other side of the ocean, we need European cooperation. We need a European Union who is stronger and who can defend his model against China, against India, against the U.S. German MEP Scar Keller, 32, is the sole woman candidate, joint lead candidate with Frenchman José Beauvais of the Greens Group. Its members chose her to speak up for their ideas in candidate debates, the voice of a younger generation of politicians. What we need is really investment into the future, investment into things that the society needs, like transforming our economy, making it greener so that we're also stopping the climate change. Luxembourg's former Prime Minister Jean-Claude Juncker, 59, represents Europe's centre-right parties. He talks about his long presence at the heart of European construction, notably tackling the euro crisis. As head of the Eurogroup Council of Finance Ministers, I amended the Stability and Growth Pact so that it does not blindly follow hardline austerity policies, but takes negative economic trends into consideration. I know Europe. Those who want to shape the future must have experience. I have it. German leader of the European Socialists and their candidate for commission head Martin Schulz, 58, is also president of the European Parliament. He often criticizes the bloc's leadership and supports building a Europe that feels more accessible to its people. I want the European Union to make certain that our legislation ensures good living standards to include ordinary people as well. That's why we need common rules. What we do not need is an excess of regulation. Greek Alexis Tsipras, 39, candidate of the European left, is a major opponent of austerity policies in his country and wants to fight the power of the banks, promoting a union of increased solidarity. We are voting to tear down the wall of money. We are voting to overcome the north-south division, a division that cancels the European idea and Europe itself.